All right, sixth graders, we're going to work on lesson four in your book, and that is on adding and subtracting whole numbers. So way back in third grade, when you were adding and subtracting whole numbers, uh, you were taught to line up the place values when you're adding and subtracting. In other words, you have to add ones and ones. Add the ones together. Add the tens together. Add the hundreds together. You have to line up the place values. Or you have to add the place values. That's the, that's the biggest part of this. That's the biggest thing you have to remember. Um, the same is true when you're subtracting. You have to subtract place values from each other. You have to subtract ones from ones, and tens from tens, and hundreds from hundreds. You can't subtract the hundreds place minus the ones place, because those numbers have different values, don't they? Now, first, when you're, um, it's good to use estimation. We talked about how to estimate in the last lesson. And it's good to estimate when you're adding and subtracting. So you find a close answer quickly. But then, once you've estimated, then you can do the actual answer and to see if you are close. Okay? It's a way of checking yourself. So, if the problem is 37 plus 95 plus 56 plus 77, you could round these to 40, 100, 50, and 80. Add these together first. So 4 plus 10 plus 5 plus 8 is 27. So 270. And then add these. When you're adding, start in the ones column. Start on the far right. And that way, you can add the tens to the tens column. So when you add this up, you get 25. That's two tens and five ones. You have to put the tens in the tens column and the ones in the ones column, right? Is everybody with me on this? Mm -hmm. Remember how to do this? Now, let's go to subtraction. If we're doing um, a problem like this, 10,002 minus 4,663. Let me rewrite this one for you. 10,002 minus 4,663. Now, notice that everything's lined up correctly. To start with, we could estimate this to 10,000 minus 5,000. So we know that we're going to get approximately 5,000. Right? We should get approximately 5,000. 10,000. Oops. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Then when we do the the actual work, we can see we have two ones, we can't take away three ones. So we're gonna have to move some ones over here. But we don't have any tens. And we don't have any hundreds. We don't have any thousands. We have one ten thousand. We're going to have to take that one big piece and break it up into smaller pieces. Take one of those ten thousands so that we have nine thousands. And then take one of the hundreds and break that up. 
we have one left. And then take one of these and break that up, so we have one left. And then give those ones to the ones place. This. But since there's, it's a 10,000, not just in the thousand place, wouldn't you first take the ones and so not place zero in the tens place and then be a nine? Because like, Yep, so there's zero, nine, right? I just made this ten thousands, and if I take one away, it's nine thousands, okay? So, since this is in the last place, I could have crossed out the one and wrote a ten here, but that's the same number, that's still ten thousands, right? So I just crossed off the ten thousands and changed it to nine thousands. That's where that number came from. Right? Now, 12 ones, take away 3 ones. Now we can do the subtraction. We have 9 ones, 3 tens, 3 hundreds, and 5 <coughs> thousands. Well, right? Questions? Is this, do you remember how to do these? Yeah. So we can. Oh, um, it says to do with the borrowing and regrouping. Yeah. Um, wouldn't that other nine, I already know the answer, but how could it work coming to an eight if you already, like, regrouped a nine right there? In the first one? No, the other one, that's two. This one? Yeah. Okay, so when I took one of the thousands away, I gave that one to the, to the zero, so that there's ten of them. Okay? But then I have to take one from here, which we leave nine, and I have to give that one to the tens. Okay? So now this is 10 tens. Then I have to take one away. So I leave 9 tens. And I take that one that I'm taking away and giving it to the ones place. So that there's 10 ones plus these two ones, which makes 12 ones. Okay, so I keep taking one from the previous place, putting it over here, and then taking one away again, take one away again, and finally give that one to the one place. Okay. Let's do another example. Use this. Go to page 13 and I just did number four. That was number four from your assignment. Let's do number five from your assignment. 185,000 minus 3,400 I'm oh, sorry, 3,342. <coughs> this is number five from the assignment. Okay. So all the places are lined up, correct? Now, we need to regroup this because we don't have any ones. Right? Now, we know we're going to end up with about 180,000 because 5,000 minus 3,000 is 2,000. We're still going to end up with about 180,000. Maybe 182,000, 181,000. Now, 
Since we don't have any ones, we have to move some ones over there. So we have to take away 1,000. That leaves four. And we have to give that thousand to the hundreds place. So we have ten hundreds. You might want to write this down since this is part of your homework. This is part of your homework assignment. It's in your it's your assignment. Yep. So you might as well copy it down. Do you write in your notes? You could write it in your notes, but I would recommend putting it in my assignment book because it's gonna be that way you don't have to redo it when you're doing your assignment. Number five. Number five. Number five. Now, ten thousand. Let's take away one thousand. That leaves nine hundred. I'm sorry. Uh, ten hundreds. Take away one is nine hundreds. Because this is the hundreds place. Then, let's give that hundred to the tens place. We have ten tens. Let's take away one. That leaves nine tens. And then give one of those tens to the ones place so that we have ten ones. Now, ten ones, take away two, is class? Eight ones. Nine tens, take away four, is five tens. Nine hundreds, take away three, is six hundreds. Four thousands, take away three, is one thousand. Eight ten thousands, one hundred thousand. So it's one hundred eighty one thousand six hundred fifty eight. Okay. Now, for practice, I want you to start with number two and do two through. Two through twelve, all for tomorrow on page thirteen. Two through twelve, all. 